Alright, hello, hello, welcome to episode one, log one, of the Bell Weather Making a Video Diary. Uh, this is going to have absolutely no real subject or format. I uh, just wanted to create a way for me to record me talking and see what happens. And I've decided that playing a mindless video game at the same time allows me to basically podcast with something in the background. So today's subject is simply going to be Millipede. You ever heard of it? Everybody's heard of Centipede. Well, guess what? It, it had a sequel, and I grew up with this, and legitimately, it's just Centipede, but a little better. So it's kind of like, you know, when they made a new version of Street Fighter? Oh, God, that sound effects. My ears are bleeding. I can't believe we used to think that sounded good. Yeah, here's my impression, 40 years old, playing this now. Um, solid game. Dear God, turn the sound off, man. If I, if I play this again for fun, I'm just gonna put music on. But, uh, yeah, you can see it's basically Centipede, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, that would've been a, that would've been a trophy if I killed the whole thing. Yeah, there's just extra bugs. Different colors. If you, if you have an eye for it, you can kind of see that it looked better. But I think you would have had to be a kid at the time to notice that, because you look back at Centipede in this... Oh! Didn't see that one. You look back and they're, they're, they're almost the same game. So this is just like Centipede version 1.1, really. And back in the day, like, I know there were all these ports, but there were only two official games in the arcade, as far as I know. At least in the old era. Like, if there were Centipede sequels... And I think there probably were. They they came maybe in the 90s during the first retro revival they kind of had. I mean, there's nothing deeply philosophical to say here that you wouldn't say about every video game, but, I mean... You know, I, I, you know what I liked about these 80s color palettes is, like, they didn't have that many colors to work with, so they, they created certain complementary relationships of the colors. Which I didn't know how to talk about as a kid, I just thought it looked cool. But after having been in art school, and, you know, I had some decades to think about it. Like, you see the way that blue of the, the millipede works with the black fields, and and you can see the blue on the green field at the bottom, too, and it just pops out of everything? Like, that's good design, you know? The way they arrange the pixels for the millipede, you never lose track of it, because it's your eye always tracks it. You can learn a lot about life just by observing this shit, you know? So, is that a game? Yep, okay, so we'll call that the, uh, I don't know, Beta Zero episode of Dee's video diary. I will most likely attempt to make this a tighter experience and maybe even do some editing and stuff, but I uh, just wanted to have a clean shot at this, and if you're watching my process right now and you're actually entertained by this, let me know, because this is the point in my channel when I do not care if I even get viewers, I'm just screwing around. Thank <laughs> you.